Makenge Project was a semester-long seminar where a group of 12 selected students traveled down to the Rainforest Reserve in the middle of Nicaragua on the Rio San Juan, just a few miles from the border of Costa Rica. These students participated in an interdisciplinary course load where they applied skills from science, communication, education, business, and marketing. They prepared for the trip to the Makenge Reserve throughout the beginning of the semester until finally they arrived during spring break. And um, then we'll get dropped off on a private dock, and then Rito and Becky and whoever is going to pick us up on their private boat will come pick us up in two groups, because we don't all fit in the boat. So half of you guys will go first, and the other half will have to wait. The days at the Makenge Reserve had students engaged with their surroundings, and almost every day contained hands-on scientific work. BioBlitz, our main prerogative is to uh, look at a 20 by 20 meter area and identify as many species of plants, animals, trees, insects, and reptiles, and birds within that area. Um, and then we're going to gather all that information uh, in, this, in photos. It was just at the beginning it was a little bit difficult because um, your eyes need to, you need to train your eyes. For example, our, our um, guide Yadder, he's, he's been doing this all his life, so he spots everything. We actually saw spider monkeys, that was really cool. I, um, I spotted a turtle, that was awesome. We saw a lot of small lizards that are, you know, um, spiders, a lot of insects, the strawberry frogs. Actually, in the end, we, we um, caught the tape on, on the trail camera. A trail camera is um, a camera that you put on a tree, for example, and you leave it there for days, weeks, or months. And um, it, takes it takes a picture of it. It's like there's a sensor in it, and it senses everything that within 40 meter range that walks through, and it takes a picture. Science was a major part of being at Makenge, but there were days when the students were able to interact with the local population as well. They did this by either traveling by boat down the Rio San Juan to get there, or by having local students come visit the reserve. I actually really, really enjoyed going to El Castillo because it was, I felt like it was more of a cultural experience for me. Because being isolated at Makenge, it's wonderful and amazing to experience this biodiversity and great natural beauty. But it's also really nice to get out and see the sights and see the way other people live as well. Um, so going and seeing like, all the bright colored buildings, the way the streets look, the way the cars look, the way the people are, and just seeing like kids playing in the street, people interacting with each other, that was really exciting for me to see. But when we went to Castillo, that was probably my favorite day. Uh, we got to meet all the Nicaraguan um, children and the students and got to talk to them and like they shocked me because they're just, they're actually really great kids and they're really eager to learn and eager to help out their community and their country and that, I thought that was amazing. And um, we got to see the fort and that was just incredible. The Nicaraguan history behind it, and then the view that it had, and just getting to hang out in Castillo, just the little sleepy town with all the vibrant colors and the sheet metal everywhere. Um, well, Castillo was definitely my favorite place. Um, we got off the boat, and the first group had actually gone to a butterfly um, preservation, but we weren't able to. But at the same time, it was fine because we got to play soccer with some of the local kids, and in uh, Sabarus, where we went yesterday, we were able to meet some of um, the people there that work at a restaurant. We had lunch and we were able to try some of the bread. We bought something called pico and I think everyone ate the entire bag before we even got back to Makenge. The time at Makenge not only helped students in applied subjects, but it also taught them real world knowledge that they can take with them throughout their lives and into their professions. Today, we worked on the public service announcements with the Nicaraguan kids who came from Castillo and Sabalo um, and the neighboring towns around Makenge. Um, it was very difficult because none of us spoke Spanish and none of them spoke English and we had three interpreters to go around for 30 kids. But it worked out in the end because one person from um, the comm group each went into one of the three groups. Uh, that made a, a video and we edited it and we showed it and they looked pretty darn good. When we got to Nicaragua we were told that we might have to present some kind of dance or cultural kind of presentation to our Nicaraguan friends when we met them 
And uh, what we came up with was a dance that Emma knew from a previous summer camp to Wave and Flag, uh, which is the song. And um, we've been practicing this in the mornings, kind of, and when we have some free time and someone throws their iPod on the speakers and it's just a really fun song with lots of clapping and jumping around and you wave your arms like a wave and flag. And uh, we finally presented that today to the Prohoven youth and uh, we kind of taught them a little bit of it. So we got a huge group of about 25 people all waving their arms, jumping around uh, to this one song. So, The time at Makenge not only helped students in applied subjects, but it also taught them real world knowledge that they can take with them throughout their lives and into their professions. Um, I've definitely learned that I'm very privileged. Uh, until I came here, I didn't completely understand the concept of water conservation and um, nature preservation. By being at Makenge, I've, you know, <laughs> taken less showers, uh, preserved water more carefully. Um, I've learned about the different animals here. Um, and our direct impact on them as human beings. As an alumni of this project, um, I know just how much passion um, not only myself but the, the 10 other students that I worked with last year put into this. And when we were here, we wanted so bad for this project con to continue. We wanted so bad for McKenge to become something more than just um, what's on paper. And, um, be, you know, we have no control, you know, little control now over what the project becomes, but because of what I've seen this week, what I've seen today, I have so much hope for the future of this project. There is no place that McKenna can go but forward.